We are back with our series, Take It Off Today. And this morning, we are talking with one of the daughters of the greatest, Mama oh, Ali. Yes, Kalia Ali. She's an author. She's a former model, also an activist, who is opening up about her struggles with obesity. And she's here to share how it's impacted her over the years and what she hopes others can learn from this journey. Kalia Ali is one of nine children of the legendary heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Growing up, she said she felt the daily pain of obesity. I was getting a little bit too heavy and I got fed up with it because I was always the last one to be picked and things like that. At nine, Kalia appeared on Today to talk about her participation in a weight control program for kids. At any given point in my life, there's always been a struggle with weight. Either I was chubby or I was overweight or I am obese, you know. And that's Kalia back on today in 2004 after lap band surgery. Kalia, who is five foot nine, says at one point she weighed over 300 pounds. Over the years, with a focus on nutrition and exercise, plus several other procedures to help her slim down, she's now 48 and has lost over 100 pounds. However, Kalia says that her work towards achieving a healthy body continues. And Kalia Ali joins us now. Good, Good morning, morning, Kalia. How are you? Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to be we're back happy here to have with you. you here. We're thrilled to have you. Hey, listen, I, I, I like you since I was, you know, a teenager. You know, going to husky shop, stuff like that. And I had parents who were pretty thin. I can't imagine what it was, must have been like when your father is, you know, probably what was considered the epitome of, of physical perfection. How did that, that, no pun intended, weigh on you? It definitely was difficult. You know, oftentimes in my life when I realized my weight exceeded his fighting weight, mm. you know, or you're at gym and you're still picked last because you're the child that's out of shape and no one wanted you on their team was often very difficult. But you know what, Al? It was also made very easy by the fact that my father always instilled in me a sense of pride and beauty mm -hmm. and always reaffirmed to me how beautiful I was in his eyes. Yep. And at your current weight now, how, how do you feel? Because I know it, you know, sometimes your mood and your feeling, how you feel about yourself depends on what that number is on the scale. I feel good, but like many people who've lost a lot of weight, I'm now dealing with skin issues, which I look forward to. That'll be like round, I don't know, we're past round 12, <laughs> round 15. Mm. Uh, it's just part of the journey. But ultimately, I've found peace. I found good. peace and happiness yeah. and health. And mm -hmm. for the first time, I'm really feeling good in my skin no pun intended <laughs> so for people watching those you know it pulled a, a cord on me a little string inside when I saw the, the pictures of you and the interviews of you as a kid because there is no doubt people watching right now uh, who have kids who are struggling with it how do you yes. balance okay yes we do need to try to lose some weight but then you still need to love yourself because there are people watching who've been dealing with it like you since they were little I think we need to keep our children active, and I think we have to do the best we can with our resources to keep them healthy and fed. We know far too often people live in food, de food deserts, rather, people live very complex sure. lives, and so it's, it's a very unique individual situation, and I would encourage adults to do much the same. Look inside and do what's right for you as an individual and with your, and with your physician. I mean, oftentimes it requires, as it did for me, medical intervention. At some point, you, you did turn to surgeries, you mentioned. How, how often? I had quite a few surgeries. And like many bariatric patients, it, it requires a revisional procedure. It's just part of the vernacular today, and it's part of my journey. How would you prepare emotionally? How would you prepare mentally for, for procedures like that? It's not easy. Yeah. Because, you know, especially when you're going in for revision, you're going to have an element of self-doubt as if something had failed you. The truth is, no matter which path you choose, whether it's diet and exercise or surgery, no one can outrun lack of moving and a healthy diet. Mm. Yeah. You're going to have to put some elbow grease into it and do your own job. Mm. And again, this is a really individual thing. And I'm just so happy to be back here sharing it with all of you again. You know, it's really um, Kalia, you talk about you know, being comfortable in your skin, and you've had to have, you know, some skin surgeries, things like that. You know, it, this I think is one of those. There's no finish line. You're, yeah. it, it's a constant Amen. journey. It's it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. That's it. This is a lifelong marathon and battle. I'm doing great today. I can't tell you where I'll be 10 years from now, but I'll always keep fighting. You'll be doing great 10 yeah. years from now, too. What do, you want, you. what do you want to leave us with? Or what do you want people at home? What do you want them to know about you? Well, you know, right now, within the African-American community, 
four out of five women are either overweight or obese, 76 percent of us. And during COVID, it reached its ugly hand back because of comorbidities and claimed many lives. Yeah. I'm sitting here as a person today who I've lost three very close people to me, mm. They've lost their lives, ranging from the ages of 45 to 60, far too young. So I just urge people to know that these issues are real, yeah. but there is something we can do about it. And hopefully soon enough, I'll be joining forces with a new team and getting out there and fighting weight alongside everybody else who fights this battle. Good Thank for you. you. Thank, Thank you, you. Ali. We appreciate you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.